This time on Movie Reviews, we're going to be looking at The Old Man and the Gun. The Old Man and the Gun was directed by David Lowry and stars Robert Redford, Sissy Spacek, and Casey Affleck. And follows the story of an old man played by Robert Redford who enjoys the thrill of robbing banks. He's been doing this all his life and he just loves doing it so much. And what's interesting is that he's very much a gentleman. He doesn't mean to hurt anyone. He's very suave and just an easygoing person when he interacts with people when he's robbing. And soon he falls for a woman around the same age as him, played by Sissy Spacek, and they have a relationship that blooms, as well as Casey Affleck is a detective that is trying to hunt him down and arrest him. Now, David Lowry is a filmmaker I really enjoy. I loved his film last year, A Ghost Story, and that film's not for everybody, but this film is right up everybody's alley. I think anyone can enjoy this film and have some fun with it. This film is also very important because it's Robert Redford's final performance. He has announced his retirement with this film, and he gives an incredible performance, and maybe one of the best performances I've ever seen from him. He is just so good in this movie, and he's having a lot of fun. He cracks some really good jokes in this film, and this film is just filled with so much comedy, and it never takes itself too seriously, which I really enjoy, because this film could be quite a downer. It's a very fun movie with a deliberately slow pace that never feels too slow. It just feels just right. And it's just very well acted from Robert Redford to Casey Affleck, who continues to show that he is a fantastic actor and rivals even his brother. And also Sissy Spacek is just so sweet in her role. I love how likable they make this guy that Robert Redford is playing because he's a criminal more or less, but he really enjoys what he's doing and he's not a bad guy per se. I mean, he's doing a bad thing, he's robbing, but he's not hurting anybody, he's just doing what he loves. And that's something that Casey Affleck's character begins to realize. And throughout the film, Casey Affleck and Robert Redford kind of have this mutual respect for each other, and it's wonderfully developed. I also really love how this film looks. Much like First Man, which I saw a few weeks ago, this film also has a very grainy-like style to it. It tries to look like a older film. This movie's taking place in 81, and so it kind of has that late 70s, early 80s kind of film grain to it. It also very much feels like a mix of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, which also starred Robert Redford, and also a little bit of Smoking the Bandit, and just some other films that just feel very similar to this. This is just a very solid, slow burn type film that never feels too slow. The pacing just works so perfectly, and the actors all do a terrific job. As well as, I love the music in this film. There's some really good songs that they use in this film. There's one particular scene with a song that just brought me to tears. This is a very good movie, and what was great also was I got to see it with my dad, and even he thought that this was one of the best films that he has seen of this year, or at least for a while. He really enjoyed this, and I'm glad I got to see that with him. This is a very well-done film, and one of the best films that David Lowry has ever made. It's just a sweet film and a love letter to Robert Redford as an actor and it's great because this is a love letter to him and it's his final film. 
and he has gone out on a high note. In fact, I read up that he wanted to do something fun for his final role, and he really did something fun here. Because this film can bring you to tears, it can make you laugh, it's just a great, wholesome film that doesn't try to impress you too much. It's just a really good film. And I'm so glad I got to see this. Anyway, with all that said, I'm going to give The Old Man and the Gun an 8 out of 10. There's no doubt in my mind that this is going to be one of my favorite films of the year, and I hope it stays on there because this is a, just a really good film. And I suggest if it's playing in your area, go see it because I don't think you'll be disappointed. Especially watch it for Robert Redford's incredible performance. But anyway guys, that's all I got for you. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next review.